All right. Shalom to the elect of the house of Israel. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory as always be unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakak Wadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, and that of His Son being Yahweh Shai, the only names in which salvation could be obtained. Rather, you could receive that or not according to these scriptures and according to the prophecies, man. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who do rule well, and peace, love, blessings, salutations be unto the elect of the house of Israel, who are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity and charity and faith, and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And before I go ahead and get into it, man, you know, I just want to make mention of the fact that we are not yet saved, man. Okay? We are not yet crowned. You see, the Heavenly Father at any given moment in time could uproot His Holy Spirit from within any, from within any of us, man. Okay? There's no place for us to be arrogant, man. Because we are all replaceable. You see? The Heavenly Father at any given moment could replace you with a simple thought, man. Okay? So that's what we got to maintain. Being humble and maintain striving, man. Maintain this fight, you see, because we are not yet saved. We still have a two-third uh, a two-third death pending over our heads, man. We're not exempt from that yet. We don't know whether or not we are the elect. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Before I start talking too much, Salakia. Uh, let's see. This is the book, the book of Psalms, chapter fifty-one. And uh, I'm going to start at verse, verse uh, 10. All right. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not far away, that's like it, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You see that, man? Now, this is what King David was praying to the Most High, man. Beseeching him, asking him to take not his Holy Spirit from him, man. And this is when he had done what he did with uh, Bathsheba. Okay, he committed adultery. He took another man's woman. Okay, which we all know is a sin worthy of death. Man. So, so David was was beseeching Yahweh by Shem Shai for his mercies, man, because he knew and understood that the heavenly Father could cast him, cast you away, man, could take his Holy Spirit from you and make you be the next guy talking about magic mushrooms or you know the next bugged out thing that that you know has nothing to do with your, our salvation, man. In fact, uh, uh, you know, pushing a destructive, uh, a destructive doctrine, man, leading you to your death. That 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 could be any one of us, man. That's why we gotta fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because I know I don't want to become no damn bug out, man. I know I don't want to be talking about any of this madness that some of these uh, some of these people are talking about. Okay, and how did David know this? Because he saw it happen with Saul, man. And that's really that's really what stirred up this lesson. You know, I mean, part of it, you know, every everything is done through the Holy Spirit, man. But, you know, part of what had stirred this up was just understanding the story of Saul. You know, I've been going into that, you know, lately. Uh, and, and you know, it just is a, is a beautiful analogy or really a terrifying analogy. OK. For example, of how the Heavenly Father. Could deal with you and just uproot that spirit from you and cast you away, man. I mean, look at look at Judas, man. Judas didn't plan on doing what he did. He didn't plan on being who he was and fulfilling that lot that he filled. Neither do any of these scoffers that you see, man. So we're truly blessed to be able to receive this knowledge and be in this truth as of right now, man. But we got to continue pushing. We got to continue striving. You see. I'm gonna go ahead and read this next verse and then I'll uh, I'll uh, jump forth. This is uh, jump to another set. This is uh, verse 12. It says. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit, man. You see, we, we have a reason to have joy, man. Even though, even though we're in this place of captivity, even though we're about to enter Jacob's trouble, all right, even though Esau has put all his devices around you to cause you to slip, stumble, and fall, we also maintain the joy of the salvation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's what makes us, that's what makes us happy, man. You know, not going and, uh, uh, you know, getting yourself a brand new job or, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, the most high is going to give you what you need to sustain yourself. But you see, we got bigger things to be worrying about, man. All right. 
Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and jump to uh, this is Second Corinthians thirteen and verse five. It says, "Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove yourselves, or prove your own selves." You see that, man? Examine yourselves and prove yourselves. Examine yourselves to see if you're in this faith, man. To see if you're in this truth, man. Okay, because like I said, at any given moment, the Most High could uproot you. You know, you're occupying your time bullshitting, man. Hey, the Most High could uproot you, man. We got to make sure that, that, that we have our priorities straight, beginning with Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. You see, we have different things that go on in this life. You know, a lot of brothers have uh, uh, families. You know, they got women, children. And we love our women and our children, man. But what comes first, man? The Heavenly Father. See, Paul said, uh, if a man have a wife, be as though he have none. Now, that doesn't mean you go and just cast cast your, off your, 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 your seed and your, and, and your woman or whatever the case might be and, and just, uh, uh, you know, don't be a father or don't be a husband. But you see, the first thing that comes is Yahweh, man. The first thing that matters is his truth. And you see, if that, if that gets in the way of anything, then guess what, man? Hey, all hands are down. We're, we're going with Yahweh, man. We're choosing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and we're willing to be so. Okay? But you see, the, 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 the main point being is you got to constantly examine yourself, man. Don't let this bullshit, these distractions in the world overtake you, and then you become, fall to the example of Saul, man. And we're going to, I want to I wanna read a, a, a scripture out of us, uh, out of uh, First Samuel, you know, just, uh, just describing the, you know, just the terror, man. You know, because even when I was when I first started reading, uh, uh, you know, the, these scriptures and especially the story of Saul, and you know, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know too much then. You know, I mean, probably, you know, I knew I knew a little bit, you know, to a degree or whatever. But you know, I I remember reading that story, man, and you know, it was it was terrifying, man. Just seeing, just seeing, just seeing, like at the very beginning, you know, Saul, all he was trying to do was please the Most High, man. And guess what? The spirit got up, got ripped from him for disobeying the Most High. And we're going to get the reason why he disobeyed him and just, just show you the, the terror of the Most High, man. The reason why they call him the King of Terrors and the reason why we must be afraid, man. The reason why we must be terrified, man. We got to strive for that crown. You see? Because we could be any one of these guys out here talking about a flat earth or whatever the hell. You know, all these different bugged out beliefs and theories that are out there, man. Talking about Esau's Japheth or whatever the case may be. That could be us. That could be us tomorrow, man. That's what we got to examine ourselves. You see? Lest, lest we fall, man. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let me finish this verse, though. It says, Know ye not your own selves, how Yahweh Shai Hamashayak is in you, except ye be reprobates, man. So you see, we got we to just... We got to just continue on this right path, man. Even though Satan has all these devices against us. And you see, that's why uh, uh, the scriptures talk about putting on the spiritual armor. Because all these devices that Esau has set up, Esau being the spiritual counterpart of Satan. Okay, or it's like, you know, the spiritual, the physical counterpart of Satan. Okay. He's, he's, he's oppressed the planet Earth and oppressed us, man. He's turned everything upside down and put these devices of wickedness all around you, man. Everywhere you walk is a trap everywhere you walk is a, a, a distraction you see so that's why we got to continue moving forward man we got to we got to keep that 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 spiritual armor on man all right lest we be lest we be be uh, uh, caught without our armor on and, and and overtaken all right but anyway let me go ahead and uh jump to the book of Mark real quick. Chapter 4, verse 17, and it reads, And have no root in themselves, and so endure for a time afterward, when afflicted or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. You see that, man? So, you know, you have many that will fall to this example, man. These, these are written within the scripture to let you know that this is going to be something that is happening, man. You have individuals that will come into this truth and endure for a little while, but, you know, certain afflictions will come, all right, because you get chastised coming into this truth, man. The Most High will put you through it, man. He will put you through the ringer to see whether or not you are truly serious about this truth, man. And that, and that alone should show you the 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 power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because ain't nobody comes in this thing looking to be afflicted, looking to uh, have, have uh, things happen to them, man. But you see, once the affliction comes, you know, there'll be certain individuals that just can't take it. 
You know, and what it say, persecution ariseth for the word's sake, for the word's sake, not because we're looking to get in trouble. You know, you go and beat somebody up on the street or whatever the case may be. It says immediately they are offended. Yeah, they're offended, man, in their emotions. You see, we, we're, we're becoming new creatures in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We're becoming new creatures and being prepared for the rulership of the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? And yet, some of them ain't going to make it. Some of them are going to go through this walk to become that new creature, and it's going to be too damn difficult, man. All right, verse 18, it says, and, and we got to make sure that we ain't these. See, these, these examples are written so we can read and say, oh, hell no. I'm going to examine myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these certain steps, you know, and, and if 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 it works better, just write it write it down, man. Write down how you know steps in order to to grow within this truth, man. You see, verse eighteen it says, and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches. You see that, man? The distractions, okay. Rather, it's their work, rather it's their job, they want to go to school pursuing education so they could have a better job. Rather, it's they're trying to please their women, rolling out, running out of their wits for their woman. You see? But what did I say earlier? There's a balance within this truth, man. Just just, just because just you got a woman and kids, that don't mean you got to hate them. That don't mean you got to uh, cast them aside. Bitch, get out of here. You don't got to be doing that, man. <laughs> you don't got to be uh, 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 acting like, you know, uh, just... just completely alienating yourself from your family but at the same time you put the most high first man and you see you pray and the most high will he will he will give you what you need man you know this ain't th nothing that'll come overnight i myself man you know just a short testimony when i came into this truth you know i i already had a woman i had kids and i had told my woman i said hey uh, and you know I, I already knew the truth but you know i'm saying when i first you know because we count it when you start going out on the highways and the byways man okay when you actually link up with the brothers and begin to grow all right. But anyway, you know, uh, uh, you know, I had told my woman and, you know, I'm, I'm going to go link up with these brothers. And I didn't I didn't really have an entire plan. I just wanted to go meet the brothers, man. And right after that, <laughs> the spirit just hit heavy, man. I never I never before that time I had never experienced anything like that, man. And after I had met the brothers and, you know, we chopped it up and I believe we even, uh, you know, I even went out to camp with them. Um. You know, I had called I had called my woman on the way back home and I said, I'm doing this every Saturday. You know, and, and if you and if you really love me, then then there won't be no issue with that. You know, and of course, you know, there there was, you know, of course it took time to sort of balance things out properly, you know, to 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 keep yeah, how about Shim Yahweh Shai first, but at the end of the day, man, hey, if 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 anything else got in the way, then it would be cast away, man. Rather it's your woman, rather it's your kids, rather it's your job. You see, we have one job on this planet Earth. We have one profession, man. And that is to be a good soldier of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, to fulfill all right, our lots as Israelites. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go on. Um, you know, but just showing you an example of, you know, this, this thing don't just happen in a day, man. For me, you know, it took a little bit of time. You know, at first, you know, with it, I mean, you know, you, you tell, you, 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 Establish the way that it is and you know as time goes on you know you just pray and the most high will straighten things out man you know because he's going to straighten things out for you but you got to make sure that you're ready to choose Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai always and forever man okay there ain't nothing else that should be in between you and the most high and if there is you got to get rid of it man you got to gotta send that shit out you don't want to be this guy that cared about the cares of this world before you cared about the most high man all right. What does what does the scripture say that you have to you have to cast your own life? If any man love his own life, then he shall not he 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 shall not gain his life. He will lose it. You see, our lives don't matter no more, man. And in that may come your family or whatever you have going on within your life, and th that don't matter, man. The Most High matters. But you see, like I said earlier, that don't mean that you that you don't be a husband or a father. You know, we 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 are there to direct our households, man. And the Heavenly Father will establish, establish your household according to His will, man. It may not be His will for you to have, uh, 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 you know, your, your woman on this side. You know, or, your, or, you know, be around your children on this side, man. But what, is, what do the scriptures say? That you will gain double, man. You will gain double. All right, let me go, let me go ahead and grab that uh, uh, precept real quick. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and uh, I'm gonna start at verse
27. And it reads, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. They forsook their families. They forsook their, you know, whatever it was they had going on, they forsook it, man. Whatever their profession was, say this guy, you know, he had made uh, pots for a living, you know, planners for a living. But when Yahweh Shai came, man, he, he, he got up and, and went and followed him, man. Left all that behind. All right? He told the man that, that told him, let him bury his father. He said, let the dead bury the dead. You come and push this truth, man. You see? Verse 28, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, which means truly, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in, in the generation, or in the regeneration, Salakia, I mean, when the, when the glory is going to come, when the kingdom of heaven will be established here on the planet earth, it says, when the son of man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands. You see, these are the things that we will be forsaking or that we will be willing to forsake for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And really, at the end of the day, we, you know, we have all forsaken it anyway, man. By putting the most high first, you see? Hey, and if, and, and if that's too damn much for them to handle, then guess what? Get out the way. Because that, that first seat, that's unmovable. You see, these women in this world, man, they, 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 want, they want to get their ass kissed, man. They want to be the very top. They want to be before the most high. You see, Eve, the, look at the story of Adam and Eve, man. This tells you what we're going to deal with, dealing with these women. Okay, which, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with dealing with these women, but be not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. Esau has, Esau has polluted the minds of these, of these women, man. Okay, it says, <clears throat> or lands, you see, some people forsook their land that they had for my name's sake and shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life, but Many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You see that, man? So the Heavenly Father is getting ready to flip everything upside down, man. You see all these all these elites, all these, all, all those people in power today, they're going to be put at the very bottom, man, because they are the base of man. And the true powers over the planet Earth consist of the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are going to be pushing this truth and who are going to be willing and also doing these acts here, man. Forsaking houses, brethren, sisters, fathers, mothers, children's lands for the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. But anyway, let me go ahead and jump. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, book of Samuel, man. All right. Finally get that, uh, which, you know, through the spirit, I was going to start with this, man. But, you know, the spirit just kind of, you know, uh, jumped around a little bit. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. This is first Samuel uh, chapter 28. In verse 15, and it reads, And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast now remember, man, before we start reading this, put yourself in that time, man. Actually picture this and think about, you know, because usually when we watch these certain movies and stuff, a lot of times you put, you know, the, the watcher puts themselves in the shoes of, uh, you know, the, the main character, you know. So just, just think about the, the terror and the fear that Saul had within him, man. When the heavenly father was leaving him because, you know, I know, I know brothers, man, you feel it, man. When we sin, when we transgress against the most high, it's a terrible feeling to feel like the most high is, 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 is going to forsake you, man. It's a terrible feeling to feel like you're in bad terms with the creator of all energy. You see? And this is where Saul was, man. And this is why we must be terrified of this happening to us, man. This is why we must examine ourselves daily, man. All right. Anyway, this is first Samuel 28 and 15. And Samuel said to Saul, why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed for the Philistines made war against me and God has departed for me. So you see that, man? Saul was so terrified that at this point in time, he went and he had a, a he had a, a, a diviner. All right. A, a, a diviner or, or a bring up. Samuel from the dead. He committed an act, a, a transgression again against the heavenly father, man. Broke the law. He knew that that was off. But he was so terrified that he needed some kind of answer, man. So what he did was he went and he found, all right, this psychic and got her to, uh, uh, you know, to, to bring up Samuel's ghost. And this is what Samuel told him, man. Why have you disquieted me and brought me up? And Samuel was so, what he said, man. And Saul said, I am sore distressed for the Philistines make war against me. 
So not only he had the Philistines getting ready to jack him up, and God is departed from me. You see that, man? So he had his enemies coming after him, surrounding him. The heavenly father he knew had departed him, man. All right, and when you and when you read it, it tells you that he, that the heavenly father sent uh, evil, evil, evil uh, uh, spirits to Saul, man. So he he was he was his his mind was jumping all over the place, man. He was in a terrible place, a place of terror, man. That's where we don't want to be. Okay, it says, and God has departed from me. And answereth me no more, neither by the prophets nor by the dreams. So that's so he went. So he went to the psychic man. He went to the uh, uh, the the diviner of dreams, so to speak. Okay, which you know is 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 a sin, man. You can't go to the left hand side. Okay, because because these people they they uh, uh, they're they're on the left hand side of Yahweh, man. We got to be on that right hand side. You see, they're 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 using the left hand spirits, those demons. Okay. Which are which are the same spirits that were jacking him up, man? You see, and everywhere we go, man, you got you got Satan creeping, man. You see, no matter what it is that you you over here messing, you you're over here messing with these sidekicks, doing what Saul was doing. Hey, guess what? You're gonna get demons cleaving to you, man. Okay. We gotta watch where we're walking, man. We gotta watch what we're doing, man. Always look to find that favor in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. But anyway, Salakia, let me go ahead and go on. It says, I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what sh what I shall do. So, you know, like he was so terrified, man, he just needed an answer. Unless he, he I mean, do you really think Samuel's going to give him an answer and tell him, hey, you got to go, you know, go uh, uh, sacrifice three lambs and this and that, and the Most High will forgive you? Come on, man. He already knows that, that, that whatever answer he's going to get from Samuel, he's going to get cut up, man. Let's go ahead and go on, all right? And like I said, man, just, you know, continue to picture this as though you were there. This is, then said Samuel, Wherefore then doest thou ask me, seeing Yahweh is departed from thee? So he's saying, why did you even ask me? Why did you even, why did you even bring me up to ask me when you know the Most High already left you anyway? Obviously, you're, you're getting saved up for death, man. All right, because what do he say? And is become thine enemy. Whoo, man, the creator of all energy becoming your enemy is this something that you really want man you being an israelite you being called into this truth you being being pushing right now enduring this 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 this, this fight man we any of us could become the enemies of the most high at any given moment man just like it happened to sell to saul it's terrifying man Imagine, imagine the, the just the feeling, the broken spirit that he had within him, man. And and and, and men, you, you, we even though we got these examples, men just jump right into it anyway. Men just jump right into to to cast off the heavenly Father, man. To walk back into the world, it's unbelievable, man. What the hell is wrong with the two thirds, man? Well, hey, man, it's really it's out of their hands. As we see here, man, it wasn't it, it was out of Saul's hands. Even Samuel, when when he first went and told Saul, you know, that he was going off and that the heavenly Father was going to strip the kingdom from him, man. Samuel was was crying, man. I believe it said he stripped his clothes off and cried for a whole uh, 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 day and night. But you see, this ain't of our will. You can't drag nobody to the to the chariots, man. Everybody has to, what did it say? Examine yourselves. Verse 17, it says, And Yahweh hath done to him as he spake by me. For Yahweh hath torn or rent the kingdom out of thine hand and given it to your neighbor, even to David. You see that, man? So he's saying, he say, hey, what's happening to you now is exactly what I had prophesied to you. And this is, this is the, same, the same prophecy that I had just made mention of. You know, where Samuel had afterwards, you know, he went about his way and, you know, he stripped off, he stripped off his, uh, his, his garment, man, and began, began, uh, uh, wailing, man. All right, began beseeching the Most High, but, you know, see, at the end of the day, man, this ain't of our will. You see, no matter how bad Samuel wanted Saul to, to overcome, it wasn't, it was the will of the Heavenly Father for King David to become king, man. And out of his line for, for Yahweh Shai to come. 
You see, nowhere, nowhere in the prophecies did it say that, that Yahweh would come out of the tribe of Benjamin, but that he would come out of the tribe of Judah through the lineage of David, man. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and go on. It says, because thou obeyest not the voice. And, and that just shows you, you know, what we we're just saying, you know, about, uh, uh, you know, the prophecies going through the seed of David. All right. That Yahweh Shai would come out of this, out of the, out of the loins of uh, King David. Okay, that shows you, man, that since the very beginning, since the creation, all right, since the the days of old, these certain men were chosen to fulfill their lots of wickedness, to fulfill their lots of carnalities, man. Saul was chosen to fulfill this very lot that we read in First Samuel, man. This is because thou obeyest not the voice of Yahweh, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek. You see, this, this is why this happened to Saul. Because he didn't go into the land of Amalek and completely exterminate and eradicate every single living creature there, man. The Most High wanted him to kill everything. Animals, babies, all of it, man. But Saul didn't. Just like just like many, many of... Uh, uh, you know, us being in our emotions or flesh may not have. But you see, had he known that that this would this would be the outcome, maybe he would have, man. We really don't know. But hey, at the end of the day, man, it was prophesied for him to him to fall the way he did by having mercy upon Amalek. That's where it all began. You see, we follow the will of Yahweh, man. Even if you may not agree with it or whatever the case may be, man, we we follow the will of Yahweh. OK, we'll go ahead and go on. Uh, Actually, actually, that was it, man. I want to just get through that 18th verse. And actually, I'll read the 19th. Go ahead and read. We'll read. Uh, uh, I'll read the 19th and 20th, actually, Salakia, and we'll close it up. This is more over Yahweh, because there's a, a, you know, another point that I would like to bring out. It says, "Will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines." You see that? And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. Whoo, man! Could you imagine hearing that, man? This is the, he wanted an answer, that he got an answer. Yahweh shall also deliver the armies of Israel into the hand of the Philistines, and Saul fell straightway all along on the earth. He fuck, he just dropped, man. He just dropped. What, hey, what did, what did the scriptures say? That men will be seeking death and shall not find it. Just imagine when Jacob's trouble hits out here, and you and you and you uh, uh, Israelites who went back into the world, how you're gonna feel, man? It says, because of the words of Samuel, and there was no strength in him. You see that, man? We don't want to be in this place when the Most High returns. We don't want to be that guy that came back into the world when the Most High returns, man. We don't want to be in this man's shoes. That's why we read this. Not to get on nobody or beat nobody up, to, but, to, but to make sure that this, this don't happen to you. It says, for he had eaten no bread all day nor all night. And I, I sure as hell wouldn't have, man. But hey, what is him not eating going to do? Nothing. It is not to him that willeth or to him that runneth, but a Yahweh that showeth mercy as it is written in the book of Romans, man. But with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. Call Allah Yahweh Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing, pushing, pushing. We're almost done, man. Don't fall short now. Give double honors to the elders and the apostles. Peace and blessing. Salutations unto the elect of the house of Israel. Shalom.